Hi, I just wanted to uh, share with you progress on my latest project. It's a motor generator that I just got running with an O-Drive motor controller. And uh, eventually I'd want to use it on a boat, perhaps a self-driving boat for both charging lithium-ion batteries and propulsion. But at this point, I'm just uh, happy I got it running as a motor generator. Thanks. Just recently set up and calibrated the O-Drive motor controller to run the Axial Flux motor generator that I built. I've been real pleased with how it's responded so far. I programmed it to be in velocity mode, and here I'm entering different values in the computer to see if I can control the speed with these different commands. Here I'm typing in a higher value for the velocity command, and it sped up nicely. I'm sort of cautious because I have had a uh, motor controller that I burned up when I uh, got it going pretty fast and then just shut it down. And I think the inertia of the uh, rotor uh, was too much for the uh, motor controller. But this seems to be doing pretty well. I'm slowing it down in steps and then I bring it to a stop fairly soon and then put it in reverse and see how it runs in reverse. That's a real slow setting there and pretty soon I'll bring it to a stop. And I want to turn it the other direction. I do that by just putting a negative in front of the velocity settings. And that seems to work really well. And I'm increasing the speed in steps. I sped up the video here, so it's not accurate as far as real-time speed at this point, but um, for most part it has been. Here I want to slow it down gradually and then bring it to a stop. Here I've set up the motor generator in the generator mode and is taking some output voltage readings with my voltmeter and you can see these are just hand turned so it's real low rpm like perhaps uh, somewhere between 30 and 60 rpm and i think the co velocity constant is about two which means to get 22 or 23 volts it needs to turn about 46 rpm and i think that's about what I'm getting, and uh, yeah, I'm real pleased with the uh, voltage for low RPM. The other thing that I'm pretty happy about is the uh, the low cogging effect, or the force it takes to get it going when it's stopped with the magnets lined up with the uh, laminated steel cores, and I was. I was afraid that would be very high, but uh, as you can see, it's, it's not bad at all.